Hey people, I wanted to spend a little more time talking about some uh, global settings and changes that you might need to deal with uh, in your career in claims. And I am at the Control Center part of Xactimate, and I'm looking at an option under Control Center called User Preferences. Okay, so follow me there if you want to follow along or just uh, just watch. But under user preferences, uh, I just want to remind you that this is the area where you can set uh, global changes, global defaults. Okay, the changes you make here will be reflected in every new estimate that you create. Okay, not it won't be retroactive for projects you've already created, but new ones will have these settings. And uh, again, just to uh, just to remind you, you can change these in any individual project, but these will be the general. Uh, settings for every new project that you uh, create. Okay, now depreciation can be set uh, as a, a default of either recoverable or non-recoverable. Uh, now this is just going to depend on the policy or policies that you're working with. If you are working primarily with uh, ACV policies, actual cash value policies, you will most probably want to choose non-recoverable since ACV policies do not have recoverable depreciation uh, RC or replacement cost policies will typically be set at recoverable and uh, again you can choose to set a default for depreciation by percentage by amount or by age and use I, I tend to stick with the Xactimate suggestion of a default by percentage and this is uh, under the depreciation options you'll see you can depreciate material, depreciate non-material, uh, depreciate removal, depreciate overhead and profit, depreciate sales tax. Now, this is really going to be a factor, again, of the company you're working for. Um, the claims company uh, should be able to tell you, uh, based on the carriers, the insurance companies' uh, parameters, what type of depreciation, what, what you're going to be choosing here as far as depreciation options. Okay, so I can't speak to that directly but I want to show you where these options are okay so um, you can also choose uh, to preset overhead and profit okay now I, I tend to leave this as zero and zero and deal with overhead and profit in the estimate as I need it and again this is going to depend on the company you're working for and their directions based on the carrier that you're writing claims for all right, so uh, overhead and profit can be set so that it is always in new estimates that you create, or it is never in new estimates that you create, and this is where you would set that. Um, before we're done with this particular lesson, we'll take a look at where to set these uh, individually in an in a individual project. Okay, now there's a couple other settings that I really want to uh, address here because they can be important for use of Sketch. That's over here under the projects. Uh, tree here uh, to the left now you'll see uh, under sketch okay that there is an ability to change some settings now handle size I've changed that to 12 and I, I like it somewhere between 12 and 14 um, you all point out in a moment what that does what a handle is and what that changes okay so that's a recommendation will make it easier to work with sketch and, and also down here under uh, view the view option under sketch I've increased the measurement font size to make it easier to see measurements this is something that will help you um, in using sketch and finally under place this is all these are all sketch options under door and window defaults I like to have these boxes checked here uh, deduct windows from wall calculations and deduct doors from wall calculations because uh, in the adjusting world if I'm going to be bothering with putting in doors and windows uh, in my sketch estimate I'm really only going to be doing that not for aesthetic purposes but for purposes of calculating uh, surface area so why bother putting a door or window uh, in sketch if it is not going to be affecting uh, surface area for the application of paint or drywall or whatever it is okay so I like to have both of these both of these checked Okay, so those are some settings. Now, let's take a look at what they do. So I'm going back to the dashboard. I'm going to create a new project called uh, Test, right like that, and 01, and I'm going to add a new project. This is just creating any old project so that I can tinker around with it and show you 
uh, what these setting changes will do. Okay. Now, the settings we made to uh, overhead profit and uh, depreciation we're going to find here under parameters. Okay. So I'm going to go over to parameters. All right, and you'll see I can. I'll, I'll already have my default set here, or I can make changes in this individual uh, estimate. And here's depreciation. Uh, here's my overhead and profit. Okay. Now, um, let's take a quick look at. I'm going to go to sketch. Okay. And I'm going to put a room on the palette. Now, the name of the room. See right in the middle where it says room one, and this can be changed to uh, say like a living room. Uh, all right, see that? That is the base font. Okay, and the size of the base font will determine the size of the font in the things like the name of the room or the name of the reference area. Okay, now the measurement font size you'll see up here, uh, you see 12 uh, foot 8 inches. 12 feet. This is the measurement font. Okay, and I like to increase that a bit because with a larger um, area, with a larger room or roof, it can get small and uh, difficult to see. And then finally, uh, these square deals that you'll find on every wall and in lots of different parts of Sketch are called handles. Now, the handles are the, the uh, way that we end up changing the size of a room, and we'll talk about that. On a later lesson, but uh, I've increased the handle size to make it easier to see and easier to grab. Okay, so just as a review, uh, we've made some global settings in user preferences. We've tweaked the handle size, uh, we've tweaked the font size for the measurement, the font size for the base font. And we've also made some changes to uh, doors and windows so that when we do add doors and windows, uh, they are going to end up, uh, they will end up uh, subtracting surface area. Okay. All right. So this is something that a lot of folks forget. So I wanted to make sure I did a quick uh, tutorial on it so that, uh, so that you'll remember. All right. And I'm stopping the recording.